Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. You have two options when swapping routers. Power off the Verizon router, unplug its Ethernet, and wait overnight before plugging in your own router. Log into the Verizon router, release the DHCP lease, plug the Ethernet into your own router, and then power it on. Let's help you make your mark. Depending on the equipment you choose, buying your own router may help you improve your connection speeds and save money over the long-term cost of monthly rental fees. Yes, you can connect your own router to Fios service, as long as you do your research to make sure it will support Verizon's fiber service. Let's help you make your mark. To unblock devices, you have to go to the Fios gateway by entering 192.168.1.1 .1 in your browser. I'm assuming you have already done this to find out your device was blocked in the first place. Then go to the My Network section from the top menu. It should be between wireless settings and firewall options. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.